There is something going on with your solar plexus chakra. You are getting love. I'm telling you, there's a person that is um, really into you. They may be new or it could be someone that you are currently with. This person, they want you to accept them into your life. Oh my gosh, soulmate card. I'm hearing dream come true. This person is someone that cannot, cannot stop thinking about you. And they think that you are perfect. You are the person of their dreams. You are like the match made in heaven. You are their other half. I hear a controller. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone is feeling like you belong with them. They love your heart. Someone loves your heart so very much. They think you're strong. You have a strong heart. And they think you're the answer to their prayer. And this could be a person from your past. Because I'm hearing they want you back. Now this person is feeling impatient. Because they feel like they're running out of time. Wanting to be with you. Wanting to call you. Wanting to work with you. For some of you this is a, just a friend. Someone is feeling some shame. That they let you go in some way okay someone is feeling guilty for something that they did to you in your past trust your instincts they don't know if you know the truth so the sun card on the bottom of this deck is saying you could be dealing with a leo and someone is going to be showing up you're also finding out some truth in love about someone from your past page of wands this is a person from your past it could be an ex-schoolmate or ex-friend it could be many ex-friends they're going to be coming in with the doors card so people are going to want going to be returning in your life in um your love energy today a lot of them they feel um anxious to be around you and they have a lot to say some of them are loved ones that maybe you haven't spoken to or heard from in a while. Yeah, page. Um, so we have the eight card with the coffin. All right. So something is happening. You've crossed some milestone, and because of that, it is bringing people around you. You also look bendy, so you could be flexible, or you could be into fashion. You're standing out. You look very attractive right now. People, there's something new about you like you've gotten some you've got updated you've you've got some something official going on something about your bank account or you moving out or maybe you were you you're you're qualified for some higher position or maybe you're getting married i don't know you've just made some type of a, i hear top notch now this is giving me like scotch brandy whitney whitley someone could be named whitney or whitley whiskey it's like top shelf energy yeah you're giving me that and um people can see that there's someone really into you and someone is jealous of that so someone is seeing that there's a person that values you highly and they're looking they're, they're kind of jealous of the attention that this person just blazes onto you someone is seeing for example how your person treats you very right when they're out with you how they put you at the center of their attention how they're close to you how they look at you deeply um and that beautiful connection that you share with them and someone is feeling like jealous about that situation i hear call call of this or call of duty yeah someone is going to propose to a person someone is proposing someone is watching how a person just um just gives their love to you this is my twin flame card you could be dealing with a virgo or a fire signs leo energy you could be leo you could be in leo energy you're at, you're the center of someone's attention you're getting proposed to someone is like and this could be in a crowded space that's a song My goodness someone is just thinking that you are beautiful it's true that song and they may be feeling like they will never be with you and i'm getting the energy of a parent that is trying to reconnect with you and they feel sad and broken that they, they feel like they're not going to be reconnecting with you. So someone is feeling hurt. Oh my God, look at this card. I said parent. And the number th what thir 13 card showed up. So the number 13 may be significant. Something about a baby or a child. Or just like a young person having, you know, 
so someone just reflecting also um wow number four energy water sign cancer home heart love peace what your your property your investments your loved ones here okay it's pisces energy coming up number 32 number five energy someone is choosing you someone is choosing you someone is thinking about you constantly their intentions are their mind their feeling about you has changed and they want to come they want to like be closer to you they want to have good connections with you this is what someone is longing for that is their wish and their vision and somehow i believe that it is true there's things that happened in the past energy someone wants to let bygones be bygones they just want to forget about it move on move into the past with you someone is really for truly saying that they believe that they are changed because they see what they've done where they went wrong all of these things and they just want to move back into your life they want to just a clean slate with you this person is asking you to have faith, to trust, and believe in them. That is the message that they want to get to you. Someone is just really into you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Something about a masculine energy, a father. So this person, they want you to open the doors um, and just give them a chance. A new beginning with this number 31 card and number 11. So 4 and 2. Number 6. Virgo energy. Someone um just wants you to give them a chance. This card is saying forgiveness. They know where they went wrong. And they, they can still feel the pain and they want to make up for it. This is earnest. This is burning. This is forgiveness. This is new beginnings. Let bygones be bygones. Right? Someone is just ready to forgive and to start anew. The earth is fertile now. Someone is just like, let's wake up. Let's rise up. Let's plant some seeds and start anew. Let us not talk about the past. Let's just go forward. I want to create new with you. I want to dream new with you i want to be with you this is someone's vow look a pledge this is someone's vow to you this is the letter that they are writing in their heart for you this is the energy they feel for you this is the life that they live for you okay number 27 forgiveness this person they're sending you messages or they're they're praying they they're praying and they're waiting with this energy they're waiting for results they're waiting for the answers um the, the the answers that will be what is needed to get access to your energy again someone is just waiting to be what you want and have what it takes to be around you now we have the five of cups energy i feel like you're for sure moving on and there's someone wanting to move back around with you could be a mass strong masculine energy here you could be that masculine it's because someone is longing someone is longing to have what they lost i'm getting a grim reaper energy someone is longing for someone but this person is like they did something and they were waiting for the time to get goodness like so this is um grim reaper was waiting for i don't know but he was waiting for something good like he did something but and he was waiting for something to happen so that he can achieve his success it's giving me the energy of um the two the two robbers from the home alone movie so this person now i'm seeing they set something up and they're just going to sit in a chair and drink some whiskey by the fire and wait for something like the right timing for example for, for, perhaps and then they'll go go proceed with whatever they have to go proceed with but something said someone set something up then they were sitting and waiting for the right timing or something for them to go on and continue working on whatever they were working on so someone was just there waiting waiting for for their time waiting for whatever they set up to manifest but I'm wondering if this person is waiting for a long time. So, yeah, the, no, this card. Someone has been waiting for a long, long time. That's the truth. Five of Swords and the Five of the five of Cups and the Five of Swords. 
I feel like you put some boundaries up with this person. You started, to, you just focused on your destiny, your vision, your luck, your blessings, your fortune, the stars, your dreams, your spirit, your spirituality, your gifts, your connection to your soul, your soul family, your soul mission, getting, knowing more, reading more, studying more, all right, producing more, creating more. That is making you attractive and i hear that this person is feeling like there's no other like you you are for sure one of a kind there could be some type of a pregnancy or news of one that some that is what is keeping someone from moving into your life someone that um is into you there's someone that is like watching you but they have they have someone else that they're committed to they're in a committed connection so they cannot have you just so you know that okay so let's see what this this so i'm guessing that this person they admire you something about you your skills your courage you are i hear outlanderishness your gifts your power your stance your creativity your beauty your sense of self your gait the way you think your connection to spirit your ability to forgive and to see the lighter side of things so this person they appreciate and admire your wholesomeness your fullness your strength your wisdom your courage you know and how you are handling even your own the steps that you take in your life there's some commitment coming toward you someone is hoping the best for you that you will like live a long life you will be happy you will have you will be married you'll find the man woman of your dreams someone is just cheering you on encouraging a good life full life for you someone is just in their heart they hope for the best for you in life they hope things turn around because someone is seeing how worthy you are you may be nervous and afraid and anxious and alone in some way or standing alone just someone is hoping that you'll find the person of your dreams. You'll be successful in your love. Someone is hoping for that for you. I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah, the King of Cups. This is somebody, and you're getting there. You're going to be pulling off uh, like a successful love connection. Hopefully. The Magician. There, I feel like there was someone trying to keep another person stuck. Yeah, someone wanted to keep someone stuck and they didn't want this person. They did not want you if you're the one to know, to find out the truth. I hear interval. That could be someone's name. They were taking their time. This is the same person that was like the Grim Reaper energy that set something in motion. Right? And they were waiting. But this person, they're waiting so long. They're wondering if something has worn off or if it's not working or if it's not coming to time. So this person, they're worrying. They're worrying about you. They want to come around. They just, they want to stop what they're doing now. They want to shut the manipulation off. They want to shut off the magic, shut off the motor of it. They want it to stop running now. But um, they want to stop operating or doing what they're doing. But they just feel like they're wondering if they've they've um, done enough to you already. That's what someone is wondering. I'm seeing that it did not work. And it's going back and it is frightening this person. This person is afraid to lose you. And they've put so much work in They've invested into this so much to have you the way that they wanted to have you to come their way. But you, you are a master manifester and you keep working on yourself. So the work that you keep doing yourself is outdoing. It's almost, it's like head to head, toe to toe with the work that this person keeps doing on you. Or it's, I feel like it is stronger. This person, they, I think they are even trying to mess up your dreams or for you to not come to some truth. They don't want you to see the truth or know the truth of who you are. They don't want you to know you're beautiful. They don't want you to get to, to recognize that you're getting a lot of attention and you're worth it. They don't want the spotlight to shine on you. 
you see that energy that someone else wanted you to just have a full successful abundant life which is this sun card which is what you're receiving everything and then some and more over blessings in full f and everything everything in your vision that you want as it relates to your love and your family you're having it you're probably getting um pregnant having a baby enjoying bringing in new life you could be a baby you could be bringing you could be a new life that was brought in i know how i'm saying it but that's how it feels like you could be even though obviously you are but there could be something very special about you in this time as it relates to birth into as it relates to cycles in your life and you moving on and going through new doors and escaping a, you're escaping a regular kind of old life and you're stepping through a portal into a new zone where someone from your past they cannot catch you anymore you're out of their reach right so you're moving into and this person you're gonna be sad there's someone is like gonna be sad facing the truth but you're cutting cords you had to cut cords nine of swords you had to do the work to let this person go or else you'd have remained stuck you had to put your foot down make a decision speak your truth get some help you may be getting um some type of a spiritual help and disconnect five of swords five of cups from these roadblocks in your life so you can have a new beginning in love and the new life that is coming for you it's so abundant it's so glorious prosperous happy healthy it's almost unbelievable it's like a step through a new divine portal in love full of blessings and and laughter confidence clarity peace and some of the things that you there was a snake in your life i did see the snake card earlier and it's this magician because i'm feeling like even when you move on into your promising new life this person is still trying to fight you spiritually in your dreams in your sleep because they still want to know what's going on in your life so maybe you're still dealing with that and you need to somehow sever ties yeah because you could still be um getting karmic energies off of this person yeah you could be still feeling what they're feeling I think someone did s word magic yeah with this card number two eleven they did they did some type of a tie a bond, a bond or a bind to you this is the truth that they did not want you to know they may have something of yours two two energy all right something personal but anyway, I, was, I encourage you to pray about it, to ask about it. Um, I feel like you are safe. Keep working on yourself, taking your power back. Praying, nine of swords too. Praying and cutting cards bravely. Growing, powering up. Grace is in the midst of it. The, 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 the fire of grace is the energy. It's like something being melted away and sealed and mended remended that kind of a disconnection right and mercy also is involved here so you will be saved from something or someone that was trying to block you divin in with divination and they were trying to affect your chakras they were trying to make you unattractive or weak in your roots when it comes to de your dependability or your creativity your productivity so that you would rely on them you would call on them you would choose them but you found another code and you like you found another way you found another answer you weren't gonna just be manipulated into their into their way you found something else or someone else found you chose you lifted you up picked you up brushed you off could be family loved ones someone from your past and this person showed you how to heal your scars. This person blessed you. This person put a ring on it. This person sealed you, mended you, you know, covered you, right? Protected you, walked with you so you weren't unsafe. So you weren't, you weren't this person's target. It wasn't easy for someone to just, you know through whatever they were throwing at you and you would just keep getting weak and affected
this person that was walking with you protected you they they got some of the blows and they helped you to return them they helped you to, to power up and to become a magician and to say no weapons formed against you prosper and they spoke it with you so someone is recognizing that you're not fighting the spiritual alone even in your sleep even in your dreams you're sturdy you're flexible and you're very aware of yourself and you are determined to make it to make it through successfully but i'll catch you in the next one take it easy out there all is well all is within you thanks for watching and i hope these messages have inspired you on your journey beautiful soul we'll see what happens next time take it easy much love bye